Hello, in this video, we'll be looking at how you can restrict people logging into your Chromebook or even stop people altogether logging into your Chromebook. This might be useful if you're in a large household and you don't want certain people in the household to use your Chromebook because they've got their own device to use, for example. Um, or it even could be the fact that if, say, if you your Chromebook was stolen, um, at the moment, unless you've got a enterprise PC or a school PC which use the admin tools, you can't lock your Chromebook. Now you can't truly lock your Chromebook either if someone steals it because there's always workarounds. However, you can make it harder for them to log in. So we won't just be looking at that. What else we'll also be looking at is what you would do in that scenario if your Chromebook was stolen. What's the best things you can do to try and keep yourself as safe as possible? If you liked the video, please like below and subscribe to the channel for future videos. So now we're gonna head on over to the Chromebook. Okay, so here we are on the Chromebook desktop. The first thing I'll show you is how it looks at the login screen. So if we just go to lock, just lock that. And here we are here, I'm gonna sign out. And there we are now, this is signed out. So Either we could log in as Dan Millward. If there was another account added on here, it would be shown here. But down the bottom here, as you can see, I can browse as guest and I can also add a person. So if you browse as guest, they won't have a login, for example. They won't, anything they use will not um, be saved. So they could go in and use whatever they were doing. But once they're logged out, it's gone. So they're not going to be taking up any of your data. So that's not too bad. But I will show you how you can stop that from happening. Also, add person, how you can remove that entirely. So if you wanted to, only you could use it or how you could do it so certain people you've you allow to log in can do so these are people who are trying to create an account and bear in mind this is mainly for if you're at home and you're in a large household but also if the worst case scenario did happen and someone did steal your chromebook although if you, because you haven't got admin tools like you have if you've got a school chromebook or enterprise chromebook you can't lock it you can at least make it harder for them so you could disable that browser's guest and you could also disable that ad person so the only login they would have is this login and we could resolve that and i'll show you that later on in the video how we can deal with that as well so it would stop them being able to log in in that way so it's not ideal because don't get me wrong if someone steals your chromebook they could still get around it by doing a recovery disk and setting it all up new but at least it stops it to an extent but it's mainly for at home or if you've got a flatmate who keeps on using your chromebook you prefer them not to you can disable these so first of all let's just log into this here and then I'll show you how it works. Uh, I've completely fluffed that. I don't know why, but whenever I'm typing a password, although nobody's watching, it feels strange me typing in my password when I'm recording. It's a bit odd. Okay, so let's log in. So from here, let's just come to Google, close that down. So if we go to settings here, and then go to tools and then go to security and privacy and then we've got manage other people and this is the one we want to do so if you click on that first of all we could disable enable guest browsing so we'll do that and then here we've got restrict sign in to following users now, when you click on that it will just show the owner of the chromebook which is yourself there so that's absolutely fine so from there, you could leave it as that, so nobody could then log in. And I'll show you how that looks if you do it that way. So let's just quickly go here, lock. And then from here, as you can see, you've now only got the option to shut down. You, the guest has gone and you can't add a person. So that only then allows you to use that Chromebook which, which is good depending on your, your situation. Some people don't mind. It depends on the scenario. Now I'm going to show you how you can now add a person. 
but not necessarily add them but allow them to add themselves if they wish to so if we go down here and then go to settings again and go to security and privacy manage other people and then we're going to go to add user I'll add another email address so that hasn't signed that person in it just means they're allowed to if they want to so then if we close this down now and go back to there now you can see from here we still haven't got the guest browser because we've removed it but we have got add person now this isn't going to allow anyone to add it like I said we we blocked it down to one person. You obviously can log in and the other person can, but it won't tell them who that person is. They'll need to know their email addresses. So if we go on here, for example, and who would you like to add to this Chromebook or Chromebox? Because I'm using my Chromebox. Just put you, put next. And let's just make up an email address. So bobjones at gmail.com. And if we go next, wait for that. You are, are not authorized to use this device. Please contact the device owner for signing permissions. See, so that wouldn't have happened if we didn't change that. So that's really good. So it stops people using it if you don't want to use it. Now, just to show you that it works, if we click on there and click next, and this time we put in the one I authorized, well, then. takes a while but then let me log in so there you go you've got the two we've now got this is me now logged in as my own personal account but I'm going to quickly sign out you'll now see that they're both of them there there's Dan Millward and there's my current computing one as you'll see at the bottom here it's grayed out and that's because they were the only two that was authorized so if you go back in here, let's go to settings, um, security and privacy, manage other people. And here, that's the one I've just logged in. I'm going to close that. But as you can see here, that's a really good way of restricting the amount of users who can use your Chromebook. And like I says, although someone steals your Chromebook, they may have a way around it. At least it stops them to being able to get into it easily. Certainly the browser guest, for example, enable guest browsing. Um, so I will leave that on for now. Um, I'll cancel that one out. So that user's completely gone now. Okay, so we've just gone through that. So now I'm gonna we're gonna work on worst case scenario. So let's say your Chromebook was stolen and you did limit the people who could log in so they couldn't necessarily log in. Your account is still attached to that Chromebook, so it's still a bit of a risk. So the way to fix that is if you go to there and then you're in Google, so that's fine, and you've got your login there, so you need to go to Chrome. Obviously, you couldn't do this on your Chromebook. You'd have to go onto another computer to do this. Log in. Once you've logged in, go to manage your Google account. And then from here, you would want to go to security. And then if we scroll down, it should show you here your devices. So these are all the devices well, they're not all of them, I'll show them now. These are the devices that are logged in to Chrome Computing. So it's got a Chrome box. Yes, that's true. Got a Pixel 4a. That's true. This one here, I think, is my Asus 713. It's a shame it doesn't use the name. This one here is my Windows PC. This one here is my Asus 311. This one here, Google Chromebooks. Um, why it's showing more than one Google Chromebox is only going to be down to the fact that sometimes I reset my Chromebooks and go into developer mode, so it's just seen them as new devices. My Pixel Slate there, again, it's showing two different ones. Not sure why. 
um, Asus have one free. My Galaxy phone, that's a good example here. I don't have that anymore. I should have removed that. And my Toshiba Chromebook too. So this here, Chrome devices, that's very generic. Um, doesn't really say much. So from here, worst case scenario, we'll do it on, let's, so you, you, you've lost your Chromebook. You need to remove it. We're going to pretend on this occasion it's this Galaxy S7 because I need to remove this anyway. So this is your Chromebook. All you'd need to do is to go there and put, you can't do find phone because it's not a phone, just sign out. This will remove access to your Google account from the device and you do sign out. Finish, but some apps might still have access. You're given third party access to your Google account. If first party app, this might app, yes, yes, that's fair enough. But it's not going to be an issue on this scenario because the, the access to the apps are cloud ready and there's a few games, it's nothing crazy. But I hope this video helped. If it did, please like and subscribe to the channel for future videos. And thanks for watching.